So once again we are going into the modified taper part 2 and we're going to still be using the Andes Easy Fade a 21 piece kit, the Andes Style Liner 2, the uh, Andes T Edger, Guard 0, 1 and 2. And so let's continue with uh, what we're doing in part 1. And so uh, as I mentioned uh, in part 2 uh, we're here con confronted with uh, the edge up uh, towards the back. And so what I'm doing, I'm taking my T edges and I'm uh, aligning the back up. And it's interesting that I'm using the T edges because uh, the T edges are the uh, the least sharpest of the clippers that I have. And I like to use those on the back of the neck uh, to do the edging up because uh, anything uh, sharper than what they are, I found, uh, can cause some real difficulties for the client. Some scarring, uh, absolutely some scarring because... Uh, my style on the tools are, are set to be very sharp, very sharp indeed. So I use these to clean it up and then I'll come back later with the uh, style on the tools and simply tap, tap the line, you know, not not digging at all, but uh, simply tapping the line to make sure that it's a uh, uh, crisp and clean and that it's uh, free of hair and that the edge up really looks nice. And so I'm repeating the same process on the other side of the client's uh, head. I'm, I'm here once again using uh, the Andes T edges as I mentioned for obvious reasons because it's kinder uh, to the skin that's on the back of the neck. And so uh, that's what I'm doing. I'm going through the motions of uh, cleaning that up. And it's interesting at this point that I'd like to interject something. When you're trying to get a crisp line, uh, usually, ordinarily, in order to do that without scarring the climb you don't want to dig don't dig don't dig especially if the clippers are sharp just simply tap you know don't apply much force and so here we are getting ready to perform the taper the modified taper across the front and so we're combing his hair in the direction that it grows and as you see I marked the the place where it is that we're going to start the taper and so we're going to I'll go into it uh, with the clippers uh, with no guard completely open and we're going to set that first guideline. Now in setting that first guideline with the clippers completely open then they're equal to a zero guard that's completely closed. And that's why I say in, uh, in the next few seconds we'll look at a few diagrams and we'll discuss why it is that uh, you choose that uh, zero guard to be all the way closed because you're going to progressively go up into the taper and so let's uh, look at these diagrams here the guideline being marked out and that's the area where we're going to taper so today we're going to be performing a modified taper as I mentioned Donald is a businessman and so uh, he likes his taper a particular way he's in sales so uh, what we're going to do we're going to start by uh, making our guideline and then the uh, depiction that I have here I've marked off where the taper will begin and where it will end and blend in with the rest of the hair that we've already cut, we've evened out with the number one guard. And so also uh, you'll see in the next diagram that I shaded that region. And that's the reason we want the taper. We want uh, that, that to be tapered in a way that there will be no visible lines from going up in the levels. We we'll make sure that the taper is clean and precise. And then in that last diagram, you'll see that I marked off uh, the guards that you use, that you want to use. You want to use a zero guard, which is attached in the 21 uh, piece kit. It's already in there. So you use that zero guard at the bottom to make your first guideline. And then you use a number two at the top to do the final blending uh, with that number one that you use to go with the grain. So now that, that taper is uh, modified in that usually uh, when we... Uh, as Bob, when we taper, uh, we start about mid-range of the year, and the taper uh, goes up to no more than uh, the temple, the temple area. But see that this particular taper, uh, he likes his taper to be from his from the, the from the point of his ear up to the beginning of his his line up at the top. 
for that whole area. Uh, he wants it to be taken. And so this uh, taper, even though it's modified, is uh, no more difficult than uh, tapers that we perform every day. With the exception that the, uh, the guidelines are in different locations. And uh, the taper itself goes up farther. Uh, so we can adapt to that. That's absolutely no problem. Uh, I've had to uh, cut his hair a, a number of times. So um, I'm used to the fact that that's the way he wants it. He wants it blended precisely. And he wants the edge up to be really crisp. So as you'll, you'll notice in the, the next uh, couple of minutes, I go in and I uh, touch up the edge up with the T-edges. And then I come behind myself with my adjusted style line of two, which I, what I might add are very, very sharp. Sharp to the point where I don't use these uh, except to go back and clean up behind myself. I don't, I don't use them regularly because I know that uh, in some cases if I use them too frequently on the customer's hair that it will uh, cause some uh, some scratches along their hairline so uh, that's not a clipper that I use uh, ordinarily unless I'm just cleaning up or making the sharp the line more sharp more distinct and that uh, entails nothing more than just tapping the line with these pair of trimmers uh, so that's the modified taper that he likes and so that's the modified taper that he's going to get So now I'm using uh, the clipper uh, all the way open, which is equal to uh, a zero all the way closed. And what I'm doing, I'm going in and I'm removing that first guideline uh, that I put in at the beginning to start this modified taper. Uh, it's interesting to note that uh, in order to perform a nice taper, you need to get a game plan and be systematic about it. And so also here I'm uh, using the T-edges to go in and line. If you notice, I'm not pressing... I'm not pressing hard. I'm being delicate with it because if your tremors are sharp and they are adjusted properly, then you don't have to do a lot of digging. And you don't have to do a, a whole lot of uh, uh, pressure on the on the clip itself when you're when you're lining it out when you're edging. And as you see me, I'm I'm just simply using the clip. And here I'm going to go in and make this C shape. I uh, put a straight line at the bottom and at the top, and then I I, I climb up and and make the two connect. And as you notice here, I'm, I'm still not putting any pressure. Still not putting any pressure. I'm, I'm, using, I'm using just enough force to cause the clipper to glide over the skin. And then I'll turn the blade over and go and clean up. And so I'm uh, going to repeat that on the other side as well. I make sure uh, all of the sides are symmetric. And then I'm going to tackle the front. Uh, and here is the uh, final verdict the overall cut after being cleaned up uh, lined and uh, him being given the modified taper as you can see right there he blended nicely and uh, he uh, really likes this haircut uh, actually he introduced it to me and uh, it gave me some time to master it because as I mentioned I've been cutting his hair for quite a while so I'd like to thank Donald for allowing me to make this video and I hope that it helps anyone who uh, is looking at it uh, take care